Hey guys, how's it going? Kermode here. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how I made the drop on two of the tracks off my Universe LP, Rise and Grind and What You Want. And in both of those tracks, the drops were made entirely out of 808s that I distorted and processed to turn into basses. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. So first, let me just give you guys a little insight into the track so you can understand what I'm talking about, what the basses sound like. So let's take a listen to the drop here. So I think you guys get the idea and the song goes on for several minutes and every single drop, every single sound uh, or bass, I should say, was made entirely this way. And the best part about it is it takes literally no effort at all. It takes one sample, some processing, some resampling. And that's it. So let me show you guys the technique. So what you're going to end up with is a long recording of a distorted 808. And the reason this is useful is you have the ability to then throw that into sampler and grab individual sounds. So let me give you an example. I have this really long, almost 15 minute recording uh, called 808 Smash Ultimate. And what it is, if we listen to it, are really distorted 808s. And you can see where the 808 starts and ends. And then what you do, just so I can show you what you do with something like this, is you then throw it into sampler, you set up the root note, you can see that I labeled it in the sample, it's an F. And now, anytime I trigger a note, it'll be a crazy sample. Okay, so let's actually dive into how we actually make this. So what we're going to do is we're going to take an 808 and we're going to pick your favorite distortion plugin, ideally something with presets, uh, maybe two, and maybe even a filter plugin. Uh, what you use doesn't really matter. Uh, what I used was two distortions, a filter, and OTT at the end. The reason I use an 808 is because, you know, what really affects distortion is obviously a the pitch uh the timbre and b the actual volume gain going into it and 808s they go down in volume so i like using an 808 for this technique because it the timbre of it how it's hitting the distortion will change as it fades out um and then the reason i like 808s is because any sort of high-end content that gets distorted uh, just starts to sound like ear blood. So an 808 kind of leaves out the high end content. So let me grab an 808 from my library of 808s. Perfect. So we're going to loop that. Then what we want to do is create an audio track to resample to. So to do that, we create a new track. We set the input to resampling. Uh, we turn it off because we don't want to hear it and we arm it. So now when we hit record, it will continuously loop record that. Perfect. So that's set up. Now comes the fun part. You want to pick any tools that you want. Uh, so for me, I'm going to pick two of my favorite distortion plugins. Uh, Camel Fat. Best part about this is it has a randomized button. I'm going to pick Trash 2 because it's got some really good presets in it. And, you know, I'm, I'm going to leave out a filter plugin. If you want, you could even add a filter in here. 
And then I'm gonna finish things off with an OTT just so we get every little sound out of this. And I'm going to just quickly change the settings to something I prefer a little bit. And now we record. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open Camel Fat, I'm gonna open Isotope, I'm gonna hit randomize on this and go through presets as I go through presets here. So without further ado, let's uh, record for a couple minutes. You get the idea, you can keep on doing this and the more effects you add on and you select, uh, the crazier the results. And then what you do is you go to the recording and you actually zoom way out and you'll notice it's all one recording. So now we can, as you see, scroll through and get different samples. And then to uh, make a tune, all you do is lay down some sort of beat. We'll do a nice, simple four to the floor pattern. You grab your sampler. set up the root note, and then from there, just start picking sounds and creating patterns. It's that easy. I, I honestly love doing something like this. And the best part is, it's in sampler. Once you like a sound, you simply duplicate it, move it over, pick a new one. And just like that, we started to create a crazy drop. So there we go, guys. That's how you can make entire drops, entire songs using just 808s and processing. So if you liked this and you want to support me, uh, maybe share the video, go check out the Universe LP that these tracks and this concept came to fruition on, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks. Peace.